Okay, we are going to talk about parallel lines and alternate exterior angles. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then each pair of alternate exterior angles is congruent. So in the diagram here, angle 1 and angle 8, alternate exterior. So for example, there, these are alternate exterior because angle 1 is on the upper left and angle 8 is on the bottom right. And in the next diagram, angle 2 and angle 7 are alternate exterior. Regarding location, angle 2 is in the upper right, and angle 7 is in the lower left. So those are alternate exterior angles. And again, remember, the key word here is exterior. So you can automatically rule out any of the angles that are in between the parallel lines because those are your interior angles. So the only angles that we are dealing with when we are talking about exterior angles in these diagrams are 1, 2, 7, and 8. And again, the fact that they're alternate just means sort of opposite sides of the transversal um, and top and bottom of the parallel lines. So completely opposite. And we also know if the measure, if line M is parallel to line N, then the measure of the alternate exterior angles is congruent. So for example, angle 1 has to be congruent to angle 8, and angle 2 has to be congruent to angle 7. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example here. Um, the example is asking us to find the measure of angle 8. So first let's highlight here is angle 8. And they gave us information about angle 1 and angle 8. Well, if you look at angle 1 and angle 8, those are alternate exterior angles, and we just learned that alternate exterior angles are congruent. So they have to be equal to each other. So in an algebra equation, you would go ahead and say that the measure of angle 1, which is represented by 6x minus 40, that would have to equal the measure of angle 8, which is represented by 3x plus 5. So what we are looking at here is the algebra equation 6x minus 40 is equal to 3x plus 5. The measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 8. Now going ahead and solving this, we want to get our x terms together. So we would subtract 3x from both sides. And what that does is cancel out the x terms on the right side of the equal sign. On the left side, we need to simplify that. 6x minus 3x leaves us with 3x. We still have a minus 40 on the left side of the equation. And all of that is equal to 5. Okay, now that we've got the x term by itself, we want to go ahead and get the numeric term on the other side of the equal sign. So here we see a minus 40. We want to add 40 to both sides. And what that would do is cancel this part out here. So on the left side of the equation, we are simply left with 3x. And on the right side of the equa equation, we have 5 plus 40, which is 45. Now to solve the equation 3x equals 45, right now 3 is being multiplied by x. So to undo that, we would divide both sides by 3. And we are left with x is equal to 45 divided by 3, or 15. Now, we haven't quite answered the question. The question is asking us to find the measure of angle 8. And here we know that the measure of angle 8 is 3 times x plus 5. Well, now that we know that x is 15, we can go ahead and substitute that in. So we have 3 times 15 plus 5, and that is what the measure of angle 8 is equal to. So multiplying that out, simplifying, 3 times 15 is 45, plus 5. 45 plus 5 is 50 degrees. So the measure of angle 8 is 50 degrees.